Hey guys, this is the Otomi Warrior, and I know that I already posted a video today, but today is the day that Steins Gate Zero was released for the United States. So, in honor of that, I wanted to do my freeform review on Steins Gate, you know, the original. Now, I've been thinking about what to say pretty much all day long, and despite that, I have not been able to organize my thoughts in a nice and neat manner, so forgive me if I'm, like, stumbling or, like, jumping all over the place. But, Steins Gate, the original, as I like to call it, if you are wondering if you should get this game and you're not wanting spoilers um in a nutshell yes you should get this game it is definitely worth it for the ps vita now having said that i'm about to go into my thoughts and feelings on the game and they will more than likely contain spoilers like from here on out so yeah Get the game, you will probably like it, if you're wondering about it. Alright, so here we go. Spoiler alert now. Um, wow, this game is... It's amazing. I originally found out about this game through Amazon. It was like a recommended suggestion for me. I had just got through playing Nor Nine Var Commons and Code Realize Guardian of Rebirth. And I was in the mood for some more, you know, Otomi action, you know. I was like really on that Otomi train and I just wanted more Otomi games and when I looked at this I clicked on it and I I read like the reviews and stuff and I was like, this is not really an, an Ultimate game, it's, but it's a visual novel. And at that point, you know, I was like, well, I need a visual novel. And, you know, I didn't have Steam at the time. So I was like, you know what? This seems pretty decent. I will just try it out. You know, if I like it, cool. If not, I will. But I did want another, like, text heavy visual novel to read. And, um,. I'm not gonna lie, the first few chapters were really, really boring. Like, I know like chapters one through three, I think maybe even one through four, they were really hard for me to get through because the pacing was uh, so slow. And there was a point where I wanted to just put it down and never play it again because it was that boring but I got through it and I'm glad I did because if I didn't I would not be making this review dressed up like a mad scientist so yes I, I know it's not like totally 100% Okabe but you know it was something I figured I just threw something throw something on and uh, speaking of which if you haven't noticed, I have like a new webcam. Well, not new webcam, but I, I when I was looking for my cosplay gear, I just happened to find my PS3 camera. So I figured I'd try to hook it up and um, just to see how that would work. So if you like this setup, let me know and maybe I can uh, film from here more. But I'll make a separate video talking about that later. Um, but as far as Steins Gate go, or as far as Steins Gate goes, this is it's an intense thriller, and I'm surprised it did not get more exposure. I wish I would have heard about this game sooner, and I wish GameStop would have sold it, so I so I would have been more likely to buy it earlier. Um, sorry, my leg was kind of itchy. Um, but. Wow. Like, this game was part of the reason why I decided to go as a mad scientist at my last, at the last cosplay convention I went to. Um, this game 
it's one of those games where, you know, it could probably rank up there as, like, the top 100 beta games if there was such. Maybe even top 50, top 25. Who knows, maybe even a top 10 for some people. They really did good on the story here, and... It's one of those games where, of course, it's a visual novel. You, Your choices that you make affect the endings. But in this particular case, you know, I think you're probably going to need the guide if you want to get the canon ending because you have to use your phone and there are certain choices you have to make. And you just kind of, I kind of wonder, like, what the heck does this, ha this choice have to do with um, getting the true ending? I wish they could have revamped that so you wouldn't be depending on your phone as often to get these, you know, the true ending and all these other endings or not get this ending or that ending. Or, you know, or act, just like have these certain choices that you have to make or certain phrases. I did not like that about the game and I hate that I had to, you know, had to have a guide to help, you know, help me through, you know. The, pretty much you have to have a guide to, to hold your hand if you want the true ending. And that kind of rubbed me the wrong way because unless you're some type of legendary Super Saiyan, you're probably not going to get your true ending on the first or even second try. You know, it's, just, it's too complicated. Well, not too complicated, but it's too nuanced. But hey, if you can, you know, more power to you, but... I know I would have never gotten that without the playlist. So that that was one drawback. But other than that, the stories the story was really good and the endings were quite there was something else. And I guess I, I can go into the endings real quick. Um The true ending I enjoyed. I really liked it. And I know like Moxie is like the canon love interest for Okabe. And honestly, I'm fine with that. I have no problem with that at all, surprisingly. Because what I find, you know, playing these Ultimi games, and you know, even in some animes, that I'm usually not okay with like the canon pairing. Or, you know, I wish the canon pairing was someone else. We'll take Nora 9, for example. You know, obviously, I think Masamune should have been the ca canon pairing for Kohoru, and you know, but she was with Kakeru as, as the canon pairing. And, um, well, I, I was actually fine with Natsuhiko being canon for Makoto. And, um, I kind of wanted Ron to be the canon pairing for uh, Nanami. Although, I'm fine with Akito, but, you know, Ron was my personal favorite. And, um, in Code Realize, which is even worse, like, you got, uh, the heroine. Am I saying that right? Probably not. Heroine? You know what? What's her name? Cardadia. Yeah, we'll just call her Cardadia because I, I can't butcher her name as bad. But, yeah, Lupin was, like, the, the canon character for Cardadia. And I didn't really like that. I felt like any other guy would have been better. Even Impy would have been a better canon choice. If they had to choose, like, a canon pairing. So, um... Yeah, with that being said, I did not have a problem with, you know, Moxie being the one for Okabe in the anime and in the game. And I don't think I would have it any other way. That, that's not to say that I didn't like the other ladies for Okabe. And, and you know, them getting together or whatnot in their endings. But I think Moxie was the best. But if we had to look at another ending other than... Um, other than the true ending, I, my favorite ending would probably be Suzuha's. And because could you just imagine, like... Going back to 1970, all to like obtain the, the what IBN 5000 or wherever it is, and having to wait like so many amount of years before you could do something and change the future. 
Like, that would be a little terrifying, but it would be kind of cool, but scary, but, you know, disheartening. You know, if there was one ending that I thought could, I would like to see in the future, like have like a spin-off of what happens, that would be the ending. Which, you know, actually that was my first ending I got because I didn't know that the phone, you had to use the phone to, you know, make choices or whatnot. But, um, yeah, that, that was a freaking cool ending. Because you just... I just wondered what would have happened. Like, did they succeed or? And I wonder, did that? Did they get together? I, I'm hard pressed to believe that if they're spending so much time together, they're obviously obviously going to get together and probably marry in like the 70s. But I would really like to see like an older like Okabe in an older Suzuha and see how that would have ended. So yeah, aside from like the canon ending, that probably would have been my uh next best or my personal favorite ending which is you know it's kind of like a tragic ending but it's kind of interesting because i wonder could there really have been another way which probably not but again that would that would have been interesting to see now whew, getting winded here now as far as my favorite lady for okabe if it wasn't moxie that would definitely have to be, you know, Lukako. Yeah, I, I thought their ending was cute. Especially how they had, like, a child at the end. And it's like, poor Lukako. But, you know, there's something about them sharing their tragedies together. Because, you know, they both feel guilty and they both have to live with the, the consequences of their choices. And I thought that that was really cute. But, you know, I kind of felt bad for Moxie in there. You know, she kind of tells Okabe to kind of, like, lean on Lukako. But I was just like, oh, poor Moxie. Like, I think she wanted him in that ending. But she couldn't have him because she probably was best with Lukako. But I'm kind of rambling. Um, So, yeah, I, I like that ending. That was a really cute ending. Um... As far as uh, Mayuri, I did not like that ending at all whatsoever where they get together. Like, sure, she's legal. Like, she's like, I don't know, she's 18 or whatever. So she's legal, but just her personality and whatnot. I just felt like Chris Hansen was just going to come out from aside the street and say, Hey, why don't you have a seat, Okabe? So, yeah, I didn't like that, but it felt weird and almost pedophilish to have to play through her route. You know, I don't know, this because she reminded me so much of a young child, even though she's completely legal. Um, and so I didn't really like that one too much. And even in that ending, he still wanted Moxie. So I just felt like he just got with her so he could keep an eye on her and make sure she's safe. Which is, pro I would consider that an almost an even more tragic ending in a way than the Suzaha ending, um, and even the Lukako ending in a way. But yeah, that's probably the worst ending. As far as uh, Ferris Nan Nan, which I don't know, I just feel like I have to say that Ferris Nan Nan because she's always saying that. Her ending, it was awkward. It was crazy. But it's, it's Ferris. And, you know, Ferris is Ferris. So I'd expect something off the wall like that to happen at her ending where it's just him and her, which sounds a little bit nightmarish in my opinion. I don't know. I, I just didn't really like those two as a couple. I think she, she's too bubbly for him. So that that was pretty awkward, and that was pretty tragic too. Not knowing, you know, having uh, Daru and you know Mayuri not know who they are. So I I didn't really like that ending, but it's, it's much better than Mayuri's. Um, well, it's almost fifteen minutes, and I've just been rambling. 
But yeah, it's um am I missing anyone? I think that was it for the ladies. I, I don't think Moika got her own ending, but that would have been interesting to see. I love the whole plot twist of her and um FB. And we're not talking about Facebook. But you know, I, I was uh, I was trying to read up on something or like trying to find a, the soundtrack or something. Or looking on like a Steinsgate forum or trying to have a guide and I, that was kind of spoiled for me who FB was. So I was like, ugh, you know what? Whenever I play a video game, I just need to go hide in a cave somewhere until I'm done with it. Otherwise, if I dare look up anything related to the game, I'll just spoil myself. Happened with Persona 4 when I figured out who the murderer was. So, yeah, that that wasn't fun. But anyways, yeah, this is um, a good game. A really great game. And um, my favorite scene out of the whole game was the scene where Okabe is grabbing Mayuri's arm or like hand and he's trying to like run away from like like the rounders and whatnot and just the music that plays is like perfect and the CG of him running away and trying to keep her safe that that is just great I just love the whole twist of no matter what he does your Mayuri dies which sounds truly nightmarish and you know I'm glad Suzuha was there to explain what was going on and that that was well it had me think like no matter what you do like you get the same result isn't that like the definition of insanity as boss would put it man i felt i really felt for okabe in this game trying to save her you know maori and it was really touching just the scenes there intense you know, just your emotions kind of, you know, I guess not building up, but just forming your emotions around certain scenes that happen. You know, people who you, you thought you could like, and then you wind up hating them. Yeah, this, this game is awesome. You know, I don't want to ramble too much further because it's almost 20 minutes, but... Yeah, I I am pumped for Steins Gate Zero, and I think as soon as I upload this, I'm going to go buy it from Amazon. Like, right as soon as I'm done, like, with this, because I want to play that game, and I need something to take me away from Psychopaths, because I'm not feeling that game. But... You know, with my thoughts on this game, I... How many times am I going to say this game? This game. Um... I, feel, I felt smarter while I was playing this because of all the terminologies and theories and stuff. I don't know, was it just me? It probably was. But if you kind of felt like a genius playing this or just, like, smarter or your brain was, like, tingling, listening to all the theories and terminologies, you know, just let me know. Because that, that was a pretty interesting thing. You know, especially with, like, I guess the roundtable discussions or Moxie's speeches. So, yeah, it makes me... This game kind of made me wonder, why haven't we done time travel yet? Because it seems like they got all of the elements down, even though it's... I get it, it's completely fictional. But, you know... I guess that's what a game is supposed to do to you. It's supposed to make you think. And they, th that game definitely had that emotion coming out of me. Like, and we haven't done this because... Like, it's there. It's like, I'm just thinking, scientists, you just need to play this game. And, you know, we'll, we can go travel the past. Even though I know that's completely fictional and untrue and impossible. But I'll just follow Moxie's advice. Just look at the stars and you'll see the past. You'll go back into the past. So that's my form of time travel. Or, you know, just, you know, pressing the uh, rewind button on YouTube and re re-watching a video. That'd be my time travel until we could figure out how to get, you know, get back to the past. Just sorry for the stuttering there. But, um... 
yeah, I I'm pretty sure this is um this pretty much sums up how I feel about the game. It's a really good game and let me know how you feel about it down in the comments. Like I said, I'm I'm super excited for Steins Gate Zero and I wonder how that's gonna be like. So as soon as I get it, you know, I'll think about my pre impressions and do a video on that. And then eventually, you know, I come out with my thoughts and re like reviews on uh, Steins Gate Zero. So yeah, I think I'm gonna end the video here because most of it was just ramblings and blabblings and you know nonsense and pretty much I don't know just time to fill up while you're doing something else. Background noise, that's what it's called. So. So yeah, this is uh, my non-review review of the game where I give my review, but it's not really a review because it kind of sucks, but it's still a, re a review regardless. So yeah, if you by some chance happen to like this video or you are a fan of video games or ultimate game stuff or you are a fan of drink testing, then please feel free to check out the rest of my channel. And if by some chance you happen to like what you see on there, then please like, comment, share, subscribe, do what you gotta do, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Alright, talk to you later. Bye.